see some positive <laughs> signs. I really need to see something good start here. Their T sides, it seemed like day one and two, sure, you'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But when it's happening here, same thing again, barely making a dent on their T side. It's a real problem. That nade could be detrimental at the very same time. Chopper's ready for them. He'll drop it in into Jewel Barretta's ready to strike down. It's the first kill for Siren, but still, Reds with a couple of frags here. Bone should be planted, and Patsy spams through the smoke, but nothing connecting. It's actually looking very good for the Swedes right now. Okay, well, are easy. You don't have something to get excited about here. Bomb is down, and time is ticking, needing to find a way back in. Magic's from the heavens. Wonderful, and Patsy coming in through May, and this is the trio getting cut down to size, and Rez find two more big kills, put that four to the name, and Magic's shame to the game as he has to back off. Well, there it is. It won't be an ace for Rez, but uh, as good as, completely manhandles that upper bomb site and finds four big kills. It was a decent grenade there from Chopper, but unable to connect the bullets of the dual Berettas, they only find one kill on Hampus. Well, here's the real challenge. It's not giving up this second round like they just did over there on True. Mirage. They yep. swip, switched on over. They were very competitive in the first half. They won the pistol on the T side. Just starting to think maybe there's something to get excited about here, and then they dropped the ball, and so you get a bit of a masterclass out of spirit there on how to lock down that CT side. Great stuff from Rez. We'll get this again in the highlight reel. The first two, the most important, but the second, this is great. The second batch is just as good. Headshots the on the throughout. Cake. Yeah, you, you love to see it. So you mentioned there'll be a four spy, and indeed there is a FAMAS for Magix, who's been sensational this tournament. Uh, always been a good fragger throughout the years, but this tournament's been quite special for him. That's one of the keys of saving Kevlar on the pistol around as a CT. It seems yeah. very boring, and you want to oh, wait and go for kills, but you kept that Kevlar, you get a FAMAS in your hands, and you're actually very tidy. Especially if you have 100 Kevlar as well, you can actually get a, a free helmet, a $350 helmet on top of that. So uh, first frag will be coming through. It's going to be Patsy. What's happened there? If he gets a second, of course, that would have been a nightmare. Luckily, they managed to stabilize somewhat Magix, suggesting he might have dropped down. Oh, back out, back bit of an now. issue. Needs to be very careful here. Oh, my goodness. Lots of damage being exchanged still. A three on three for now. Siren with lobby control, pushing forward towards the trophy room. So he's actually in. got a really nice spot here. Does he? He's going to die. They spotted him. Yeah, 5-7 now needs to strike. It's going to get a couple of tags here, but still, the number advantage falls back in the favor of NIP. They cannot go and pick up this AK over towards the yard position, but Magix is still here just re-picking with the Famas. <laughs> and he had 10 bullets in it. Oh, he needs to be so worried about this. Rez is down, and he just gave Rez away into the site. Chopper can deny the plan, and what is What's happening happened? now? They what? thought they knew where both players were. Yeah, they must have done. Some bad information coming from the dead teammates, I would say that, Chad, because he planted with so much conviction there. I, I couldn't tell you why. They knew where Magix was. Is it because the pistol broke the window lower, the USP? But Rez has seen this. Here we go. Rez has seen this. He's still seeing this. Okay, now he's been spotted. The Famous from the Heaven. Rez needs to get in towards the top site. Six kills to his name, seen dropping him. into the site. Rez has a chance here. Oh, Magix, he steals it away, Chad. An absolute nightmare of a round for an IP. It seemed like they had everything going in their favor. They recovered the initial deficit. They take down the 5-7. Magix comes back with a challenge, and sure, he hits a nice shot, but that plant towards upper, it just, it beggars that belief. And, and Hampers his push outside without clearing the corners. It was that, that as well. That's it up, right? And, and this is the shot from Magix. You said he didn't reload. Yeah, right, he didn't. And this is so complex, uh, perplexing right here. And just in the replay, you saw Magix look a bit frustrated. I can explain to you why. He couldn't find where the AK had gone. So he's running in trying to grab the AK. He, he still walks away with a Famous there. So great round from him, but that's why he looked frustrated I see, there. I see, I see. I Excellent think he would have been very happy with himself, but the, the missing that AK, yeah, that is a big difference between an AK and a Famous. Uh, especially in this round as well. That would have uh, boosted their chances significantly in terms of the firepower. patsy has got a freebie potentially if he goes up now. It's close, but uh, oh, Brolan will take him. Okay, well, good shot from Brolan there. Necessary. It did look like Patsy had him dead to rights. Chopper with the MP9 knows that Hampus has passed the line of sight and just trying to chew away here. Siren and Chopper in combination will get S attack down. They're stalling them out. The bombs drop the MP9s. They're doing it all. The noisy cricket, as it were, is oh, Hampus. He croaks. Brolan out the hut position. Both players noted now. It's getting very dicey here, but the MP9s, oh, no. they just keep on giving. Yeah. Pound for pound, Chad. Could be the best gun in the game. It's uh, such a nuisance. Close range. Farms a lot of cash. Doesn't cost much. And Hampus with another chance here to clutch out. But he's up against Siren. Holds true to the bomb side. Oh, oh no! Range. No, no, no! 
another one versus one where they have the advantage. It slips by and they have to eco now. <laughs> Team Spear will have enough cash to get the rifles out and it's going to be 2-1. Same situation for yep. poor Siren. The go-go oh. gadget arm's not long enough for him to pick up the AK as well. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> I looked away once the round was over. You're right, oh, though. Oh, man. Oh, they're buying again at yeah. least one AK. Okay. Oh, man. And Hamper Series low on HP. Little Siren in the back of the side just swings oh. out on the low HP. Wow. Deary me. Okay. Nightmare fuel for an IP. Good grenade. It could cause significant damage. Hampus down to 60. Round number four. After winning the pistol as well. Quite a yeah. convincing manner. They've had two unfortunate rounds. I was going to say unlucky, but luck maybe not a factor in some of the situations there. Okay, well, that's on the AK. The only one with armor. So, actually, huge damage from True, the scout. True, actually, yeah. Because it's uh, pretty useless without it. Magic's lovely spot is to get one and drop down. That's normally your objective at ramp. You don't stay for all the kills. Just want to cause some damage and just like that. Get out of there. It's a portal to both bomb sites. It's valuable real estate, but not the end of the world giving it up, especially when you know they haven't got all the bells and whistles for a low execution, which could be a problem. Patsy now with the chance to find reds, and that's going to be the AK given over to Hampus. Yeah, good awareness there from Patsy. I was just going to backpedal towards lobby, but this is what Mirage felt like. When they got to like 45 seconds, it never really felt like NIP were going to win any of those rounds. And mm. now with Glocks and one AK, it doesn't feel that way here either. Ramps call clear. Well-timed smoke. Siren, that is what you want to see from your anchor. It's those little details. It's going to have screeching out on the fade of this. Yeah, they don't have much time to work with. Smoke will go down in about five seconds. Open the door and uh, presumably get mowed down by Siren, who's in a prime position to actually get all four kills here. There's the first three. Chopper will chime in. It's actually probably pretty good. He gets a kill there. Another $600 for him. And uh, they're in a very comfortable spot. Wonderful with the scouts. Um, they don't have the funds to really justify getting rid of it. So it'll be 3-1, but still a good chance here for an AP to bounce back. AK-47 for Chopper this time. So that was recovered. Yeah, so a better looking round now for spirit for nip sure they get out a few more ak's but res purchasing one up into the last oh, he only deagles. has a deagle same as hampus right so oh. we are now into round five at nip uh nowhere close to anything that has resembled a full gun round let's see what they could do with this spotted patsy would have seen a little glimmer right there so notice that someone is quite quick behind this they had the instant pop with their own molly to make sure there was no gap and well, siren again he's doing a great job anchoring this top site has locked it down with an mp9 now with the rifle in two rounds hampus has passed jostling with chopper in-game leader on in-game leader action he goes towards the window room feigns the fact he may have gone out of the window there towards ramp just to apply pressure to wonderful as he's getting ready to receive a full ramp take here difficult to get out especially when you only have a couple of flashes but it can be done especially when you go to the scout here so here we're looking to get a tag, which he does, and goes down. Not the best position there. Good trade, and, uh, well, fantastic shot from Patsy, it has to be said. Too many enough. responders here, Henry. Yeah, they exactly. already had magics. Chopper dropped lower. Wonderful was already cheating over towards Ramp, and now Patsy's here too. And Ramp control again. So Team Spirit are constantly thinking on their toes. Hampus has been down here in the lower site the entire time. Does he want to try and go vent to top? Backup secret's an option as well. That's what he's opted for. His teammates getting ready towards the hearts, and I dare say they're about to get chopped down to size as, well, there it is. It's not even an interesting finish there. They just uh, limped out and showed their knees, their knobbly knees, and uh, down they go. Oh, Hampus, he has found a slight gap just on the timing, and, well, Siren's aware of absolutely everything. Hampus yeah. dead, and an eco to come. No plant, no way to get extra cash money. Absolutely not, and... Uh, Maybe a wonderful AWP will be brought out this time. I don't think you need to purchase it this round, but uh, in it comes. You know they're going to be on another partial buy. I guess they would be in the remit of that in the previous round as well with two Deagles, but uh, pretty underwhelming, even though they had the lack of firepower here. A strong hole from the CTs for sure, but uh, no real pressure applied. And Hampus getting down towards lower. Thought it could be a bit more of a nuisance there, but wasn't meant to be. Tech Nines, Deagles, and a fast approach here. Coming towards the main roof, we'll see whether Patsy can deal with them, and indeed, that's going to be S-Tag. The movement god removed, and well, Hampus, lovely shot there. Still finding those key frags like he did on Mirage. 
And that's what they really need from, from Hampus. I, I didn't think, you know, with the addition of Brolin to the team that it would still be Hampus, the man having to find all the entries. I thought they might have a couple more weapons with the likes of Rez and Brolin. They do like to get into the nitty and the gritty. But uh, yeah, the, the, the numbers don't lie. I know that Blair was impressed with the incremental change from 11% to 18, I believe he quoted on the desk there. Let's see what it is after <laughs> this impressed. map. Well, CSGO have sided with them and they can officially be known as the night shift. Okay. Well, um, there you have it. So that, I, I guess we don't get much to say. And oh. He's done it again. Yeah, okay, that's two. Just placed Molly, Siren again, this anchor oh, at the no. top side. He is just making <laughs> mince me. There couldn't have been a better place in Sendery, Chad. It was actually spot on. It landed on all three of them. They couldn't go back. They couldn't go forward. They just had to let him mow them all down and uh, hampers. A great shift in the last couple of rounds. I'm sure why Wonderful is not even aware of the high. I guess they spotted him outside. They're assuming he's still out there. Uh, it might be all for not unless he can somehow sneak down the vents undetected with this bomb. Then he's got a chance, but uh, you can see them watching it. And they'll recover the AWP. Good and, damage. Uh, yeah, good damage. But uh, money getting, getting out of control here. Got $7,000 on Magics, 9000 for Patsy. Same story for Chopper. They have to reinvest still, so it will be taken down a little bit, but... Uh, here we go. There's the replay from Hampus, who is getting some pretty spectacular shots, but it's all in vain if you're not converting the round apart from chipping away the cash and the Molotov placement. My God, there's just nothing you can do. Look how <laughs> engulfed in flames they are. So he's making uh, anchor players look sexy at the moment. You yeah, know, he's getting really. a lot of action here. It's never usually fun to be playing that top side, but right now, looking good for Siren. Squeaky blown off, Brolin tucked in towards the back. Saw Brolin with a nice little maneuver yesterday. He double naded, I think it was Sphinx in the back of that squeaky door room. He got a nade drop down from a teammate. So that was pretty cool. Needs to make sure he doesn't fall foul to a similar maneuver. As an aggressive incendiary placed over towards Secret to slow the trundle down. But Hampus is looking like he wants to come in through main. And, oh, he's been found. Patsy up through the flames, taking 50 damage. Sure, but the kill more important here. And that aggressive prong of NIP has to sit and watch and lead from the grave. He fancies a bit more as well. Wonderful to be challenged, and he'll live up to expectations once again, hitting the shot. Res in a pretty deadly position here. Could get the double, and uh, will be an equal exchange, at least outside, but a three versus two for now. This is a key frag, and Plopsky can't do anything about it. Another round goes in favor of Team Spirit. No plant yet. Have we had any plants? We have had one in the pistol. No bomb has gone down since. Uh, yeah. That is alarming. It does say a lot. It does say an awful lot here. The things are going very, very well for Spirit. They can keep it a little bit cleaner in the next few, can start to build a lot more cash. But this is the thing, because NIP have the max loss bonus, they keep finding them in these threatening rounds. You, you take a look at the scores on the doors, right? You can see we have uh, two rounds where only one player survived for Spirit, and then two rounds where only two players survived. So with that factored in, you know that the cash isn't flush, and NIP want to make sure that they keep the pressure on, make sure they're constantly applying, not allowing them to get up to a too comfortable of a position, because that's when the CTs start going for all these more advanced Contagious, aggressive maneuvers can throw caution to the wind a little sure. bit. It looks like the mood's good. It looks very good. Smiles all around, beaming smiles. Boris is having a bloody ball right now. He had a great showing over there on Mirage. He must be up there in uh, the top players of the tournament so far. I would say so. Yeah. He, every map, it seems like he, he's popping off. We'll get a stats man chat to have a look into it. As uh, we enter round number eight, ladies and gents, uh, another partial buy, but uh, a bit more bit more bites available here as we've got Hampus with the AK-47. He's number three as of right now, which go. hasn't taken into consideration uh, this match or the match to come later today. So just keep that in mind, everybody. But currently, as it stands, but at least there's an moment. accurate stab in the dark for me there. Yeah. Okay. An educated guess. So towards the hut position, they'll wait as tag with the flashbang. They'll just have to throw it in there. Hope for the best. And it's Patsy Siren. Everyone getting mowed down once again. It's difficult to even build these rounds up, Chad. Before I can even get a few words out, uh, it's all done and dusted. It's all over. Wanda should do one of these uh, little POVs on Siren's top anchoring this game just to see True. how much of a mauling he's getting away with here. It's 15 kills in eight rounds of play for a top site defender. That's uh, not too shabby at all. Normally, it's the individuals like Patsy and oh, Wonderful. wonderful. Come yeah, on. the... Stay back now. Do nah, get, get in there. there. No, no. Pull your knife out. Do a little bit saucy business here. Difficult frag for us, tag, even with the perfect cross air placement. Uh, no armor. It always make things a bit difficult there. So seven to one. Plenty of rounds to be played. Um, I'd say the bare minimum for an IP would be around four. Maybe five would be ideal at this point. 
But uh, once again, just completely mowed down. Like, they just throw one flash in. Doesn't really seem to do much for them. That's uh, very comfortable. Yeah, bare minimum, three or four. I think, uh, 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 yeah. That, that would bare be minimum three, enough for us to have five, a conversation. Five would be, at this stage, relative to the context of this first start, ideal. It would be lighting the fire beneath them. S-Tag has to run the gauntlets. Okay. Speaking of fire, he'll be taking down the 70. So the fact he's got past the flames, they might not be aware of it, but wonderful. As we said, another player that's been doing fantastic in this tournament. He'll have the AC position. One smoke goes down, second will follow. Ampus makes his way towards the garage. Okay, well, this is not a capital L. It's a lowercase L. There's Patsy, he's oh, going to turn around and take down on. Brolin here, but Hampus has been able to thread the needle into the back lines. Patsy going to get hot, might get burnt away here as Ampus can start to elevate himself. Up Got and him. over, Patsy will burn. Magix is making a lot of sound here as Chopper is the one to poke his head up. Still, Hampus unaccounted for. Well, they realize that the in game leader has been able to slip the net with those two Ooh. smokes. No, they haven't. And oh, dearie me. Looked good. It looked, looked very, very good. good. Oh, no. They can still win the round. Decent positioning from Plopsky and Rez. They're working together. They have the bomb on their back. They have to go down the vents here. And look who's waiting. Their chop up. He's ready to take them down. And there it is. Another convincing round of four players surviving. It's 8-1. That camera angle illustrated it better than a first-person POV could because you saw the turn back just as the committal came in from Hampus. And you're yep. thinking, no, no, no. Because he's looking away. This is the spread of the molly here. Patsy didn't really have a choice in this scenario. Yeah, but you got this camera angle, right? And you can see Hampus coming. And just, Magix just turns. That is mental work right there. That is going to be very frustrating on the timing. Eight yeah. to one now. A lot of that this game. They're going to take a timeout here. Not sure who called it. Could be technical. But uh, in terms of, oh, it is technical. We've lost a player on the NIP side. Um, it's another partial by Chad. That's all they've had so far. And again, no plan. not to rub any salt in any wounds or so, but uh, we have had no plants whatsoever. And this is picked by NIP. Really do need to see them pull the socks up now. New game mode we're trying out here as well for uh, ESL Pro League Season 16. It's everybody's CTs. So what you have to do, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a whole new game mode, guys. I don't know if you, yeah, there we go, there we go. We're just playing Defense with anime. you. We're just playing with you. We update the HUD. It's all good. All right, everything's fine. Match has been restored. And uh, looks like we are good to go. So as I mentioned, it looks likely to be another partial, but I can't really justify much more than Tech Nines and Armor. On these sort of rounds, I wouldn't mind just the outside wall of smokes. They've managed to get down towards secret a couple of times. Let's get three or four players down secret, shall we? Let's at least have a couple of jewels going in our favor. Let's see whether that's uh, a possibility. Let's just do something together instead of getting picked off one by one and then sprayed down with 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, I think the thing is, because they're using Hampus as this early beacon, if he gets the space, that's one thing. If he doesn't get the space, then it doesn't leave them with a whole lot of options here. So we need to see something that they can start replicating. Still lots of rounds to be played within this half, and a top side flashes with a main smoker coming through. Siren this time very blind, turns back into the second, should be dead to rights here, and Rez, as he did in the pistol round, will mop up that kill. This is looking like an opportunity for NIP. A flash forward, Magic's coming fast, and Hampus with a banger from the T-Vent. Maybe they've done enough. I think they have. It's uh, very difficult to retake this upper bomb site when numbers are against you. They've managed to recover an M4 now and the AK-47. If they give this round up, Chad, call it done. It's going to be a hard round to give over here. So many angles you have to worry about, even with that one-way smoke to peer on over as you come out the heavens. Wonderful looking to save this and chop up two. Well, that's more like it. So they're yet to win a gun round, but sticking together, having the surprise element on their side, good flashbangs. We know they can play this map. It's their pick. Um, that's much more like it. That's going to be a confidence boost around. Like we said, three or four at this stage will be absolutely fine. And there's Plopsky. Didn't have a weapon, so not at end of the world. But uh, they'll save the AWP and the AK-47 between Wonderful and Chopper, respectively. Okay, well, they have a couple more gun rounds in them here, but that's great for NIP. So they've been able to pull something out of their ass. Let's see now that the guns are out, if they can find anything more. As I mentioned, plenty of rounds to be played. This could still be an 8-7 scoreline for NIP if they continue in these winning ways, but that's going to mean five more consecutive rounds here to close out the half. And, well, with the bomb going down, they've broken that streak too. True. The bomb did get planted, but uh, you have to win a gun round. I'd say they want to break that streak as well. That would be nice. So, Molotov's there to deny the perfect smoke placement. I believe there was quite the gap there. So uh, we'll see if that can be exploited. Brolan finally gets the best of Chopper through that smoke. So there is quite the gap. Will they be aware of it though? They would have heard the extinguish, so I'm sure they'll be holding tight 
up until the moment they have to move here. Maybe a refocus towards ramp is wonderful. Actually gets in position once more. Grenade will take a West Tag there. This is a type of round with an opening kill that you'd hope they're able to convert here. Now, the fact that Brolin is low, sure, but he, you'd hope, will play in late. 10 points of health, bomb, light util. And they have a lot of room towards yard right now. So Hampus is trying to pull everybody into the play. Clock now sub one minute. And no real movements from Spirit. They haven't gone looking as a group. They're not trying to re-aggress and take any territory. I think right now, individually speaking, they think that they have the upper hand. So it's going to need one of these two, uh, four players on Spirit to get a multi-kill. Yeah, I think you might be right there. Time ticking away, though, and uh, we all have 40 seconds remaining. Hampus discovered outside where he's been occupying that area most rounds. So you could pretty much guarantee his teammates might be towards lobby as they take their focus away. This tag is showing a bit of presence towards ramp here, but won't be committing behind it. Well, Magics did come down, and now the util towards top, so time the pins are in. That's it with one. Bomb loose. They know that's coming now, and time seems to be the issue for NIP again. Siren up in the rafters, just locking this one down. Esatag, he gets the trade. No time. The nade's too good. And back into the winning ways for Spirit, so 9-2. to two. Very well held. Magics from the heaven position. Playing God, removing life from the outside area. And uh, fortunately for NAP, they want a, a partial buy, right? So they're able to have a decent buy going forward here, but that's the gap in the smoke. There's Magix, as I mentioned, taking out Hampus. Catches the perfect timing there. And wonderful, this is a hell of a shot. Bit flicky there, isn't it? And there's the prime position for Siren. So difficult to clear that out. Estag even did well to find that frag. But uh, like I said, full buy, winning with the Tech Nines beforehand. 9-2 though, this one really is running away from them. This is a great little setup here. Patsy will get him if they come over close, or at least he should do. Hampus looking to clear it this time. Oh, no, lazy, lazy clear. clear. Yeah, you don't love to see it. And Wonderful gets the strike off the back of it. Res turf two, and I think they round get out now. Yeah, back off, three on five. Yep, just go play a default round at this point. Good adjustment, keeping that all dynamic. He's either towards heaven, ramp, outside close. Very difficult to counter him when he's doing that, especially when he's in the zone, winning rounds and continuing having that orb. One question that I think would be a nice one to know would be, is it Chopper calling the shots of the setups where Wonderful's going, or is he getting an opportunity I, I to dictate like to the play? I think the Orper normally calls for himself. Well, that's back in the day, right? Exactly. That's how we used to, because you want your Orper to be confident in going for those fights. So and I'd be curious in this team. As well, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of details that really play into how you're going to take those fights. Hard for us to uh, illustrate all the time. But definitely a factor as Patsy looking to mow down a couple. The lineup almost there. He does significant damage towards Estag, it has to be said. So one and a half, we'll call it. Brolan, he probably gets this kill, to be honest, but he's got to deal with the player above him, which is just too much of a tall order. And uh, Estag, they know exactly where he is. Sure, he has the bomb, but even if he got the knife out and ran towards the lower bomb site, it would still be a massive task to try and get that bomb planted here. He has to check so many angles. And uh, there's one bullet will take him down, which presumably will come in now. And there it is, double digits. And that was the last of the Swedish gold, I believe, because uh, we're going to take a timeout. And they do have a buy available, but it'd be a mixture of Galil's, AK's, a lot of concessions to be made. And this is the clear, like, yeah, you checked it, but did you really check it? Because you walked past it. Yeah, that's the, we, we've discussed that concept already uh, throughout throughout this week, right? It's just you have to be very diligent when you're doing those type of roles, and you can see how robotic some of the players who do it are, like Electronic, kind of fits mm -hmm. into that quite nicely. But Hampus normally does, right? He just seems to be having a little bit of an off event, and these players are held to an extremely high standard, so the critique, unfortunately, is going to come with the territory. Sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. As an AK has been purchased on in, so looking... Okay, never mind. A Galil 2, a Deagle as well. They're just going to level their cash out, knowing that they're in max, bon uh, max loss bonus territory. Level their cash out in the middle of the pack with that uh, big loss bonus coming into the next round. They will all be able to buy, but they're as threatening as they can be for round 13 with a Galil, an AK, two P250s, and a Deagle. Yeah, the T-side curse continues here, Chad. Yet to win a gun round. Remember, they won the first pistol round and then a force buy or partial buy rush towards upper. Um, so yet to really have any impact whatsoever with the AK-47s. The Desert Eagles have been fantastic. Don't worry about those. They're hitting the shots all day long. So maybe we should be looking at an NIP round right here. They use the L-block smoke to try and make their way across to the warehouse. Never mind. The rerouting of hampers towards secret straight into Patsy. And yeah, you're right. The Deagle, it seems accurate. Well, the bomb's down too, and they've also started to surge multiple members forward in towards the lower site. Bit of a quicker play from NIP here. I think they have to at this point. These slow plays, 
Dribbling out towards the bomb sites aren't working out. Oh, that's a nice work from Brawlan. Should be another pistol victory here, but looks at things. Yeah, they're just hemorrhaging players right now. Magix did respond towards this lower play, but they have stalled it. And the next movement's to come through. Now, contained towards lobby is Brawlan. They just want to deal with him. If they can remove this question mark, it frees Magix up to focus at least in one direction only. And Brolin is just buying a lot of time here without even realizing it. A fight comes his way and he'll clean it up. So a great round from Brolin. He's done enough here. App is open now. Brolin, two kills. One with the P250, one with the M4. And we'll call that 10 to 3. On planted. And uh, yeah, I think you might be right. Not worth giving up any more rifles or especially that AWP. Wonderful have a chance to find Brolan and indeed will convert it. So Pops needs to be very careful. They have to run out of flames and uh, oh, I thought he was about to hit the 180. It was close, but uh, not meant to be. So do they want to take the AWP on the T side? Looks like they do. It's better than uh, M4, I suppose. Change things up. Yeah, the rest tag next round. On their feet, though. Yeah, 10-5. They'd be very happy with that. And maybe some gun rounds to come with it here. Magics will be silenced and... Oh, actually... You know what? Some drops required here. At least one drop. Wonderful might have to hook Siren up with an M4. If NIP win this next round, that's going to be very limited cash left over for Team Spirit because at the moment, after all these buys, at the high end is Wonderful with 2.9 and at the low end is Patsy with 200. Right. Everybody else scattered between. So, <laughs> how far off was he? So, yeah, if, if NIP can win this, 10-5 seeming very likely. But if Spirit win this round, I think we'll be settling for a 12-3 scoreline. So Two very different uh, situations there. Stark, so, isn't it? Yeah, a very important round here. Don't want to miss this one. Insta Bloom? Or did I blink? Uh, I didn't catch up. I think I blinked. What happens with a bit more space towards Yard? There's that old block smoke being erected one more time, and he can creep and crawl behind this. So many options, dip in towards main, go across in towards credit card, straight in towards the warehouse, or even use it safely to get your way down in towards secret. So this is more like it. We've actually got four players going down towards secret, safely, unharmed, the chopper. He's ready and waiting for them, but it's uh, a difficult prospect. You normally Molotov off towards those steps. Damning very high, looking for the boost. In the head, got a dink, gets away. Good control. He spotted multiple players there as well, did some damage, like you said. Magix wants to tuck himself in a bit deeper, I would say, and he's doing so. Very, very important round here. Oh, he likes this position here, Magix. Yeah. Good spot to find himself in with Chopper on the rafters as well, because he can cover, cover off towards the decon. Here comes the U2. Chopper just got spammed. He absolutely did. I think Magix is in trouble as well, completely blind. Finds the bomb, but I don't think he'll get much more here. Down he goes. Rez will drop him, and good Molotov as well. Looking very oh. good for the ninjas, but Sorry, where what? did that come from? Straight through the smoke. Siren's still towards up, but the bomb plant is lower. Brolan waits towards lobby. S-Tag hits a shot on Patsy here, so it's looking like the round might be confirmed. I say might with bated breath, as anything can and will happen. Siren. Last line of defense, really wonderful. Can't really do anything about this, but if he gets a kill on Brawler, maybe that's something. He's very quick. He'd have to be lightning fast here. Not meant to be. Oh, almost got the crosshair in the right place. And Siren, yeah, he's been having a good game locking down that top side, but I think this retake is a little bit above him. And there's the spam. Okay, I was a little bit perplexed because I saw Plopsky over towards the double doors after that kill came through. So he's jumped his way up into the vent, spam straight through. You see your players attempt that spam a lot. It's not often they just get a pure kill through it. So I think Dupree got one on the T side um, okay. towards the vent uh, two days ago. Okay, oh, so, yeah. all right. So that's where I saw it then. But yeah, you're right. You don't see too many of them. That's two this tournament. Round 15, as you mentioned. Concessions to be made if Team Spirit take that round away. So yeah, absolutely. In the vent. He was, was he full HP as well? Yeah, yeah I, think I think he, he was. was. So that's a great little spam here for Plopsky. You can all learn this at home. Line yourself up about there and do the crab walk. Looks beautiful. Last chance saloon for an IP. Like we said, five will do. It's not ideal on your map pick, but considering how this was going for them, they'll take it all day long. I would say they need to get out of there, but uh, Magix, he doesn't care, does he? He'll be taking the second frag, and it's a five versus three. They're upgrading the weapons. They're very happy with that. A coordinated assault towards the lobby. Crunches NIP, and uh, they are left disillusioned now.
Bit of a classic, isn't it? When in doubt, rush lobby. So yeah, uh, it's classic keep it sure. old school. And they're all towards T-spawn here. So might as well take your time. It's the final round. There'll be no saving here. And uh, still with a, a fighting chance. You, you never know. Siren, though, locks him out once again. Another 20 seconds. Gray screen. NIP's favorite thing to look at at the moment. Well, on Mirage, they were getting plenty of smoke kills, to be fair to them. That's we're, true. We were actually getting pretty excited for the prospect of NIP in that first half. Like, look at them go. They're 6-3 up. They're getting all these smoke kills. There's five of those. Uh, but then all of a sudden, it went very quiet and uh, very grim. Siren, I don't think you had to be holding that angle, I'll be honest. There was no need considering the situation, but all is well still. Things get a little bit more problematic now with him going down. Oh, Magic's going to bait them in here, and you can see this position from Wonderful. He should get a couple of kills. Magic's just trying to lure them in closer and closer. They're going to have to go in eventually. And my leg shown. Magic's with the dink, but this is Wonderful's time to strike. Hampus walks straight into the barrel. The swing around, not there. Rez so will messy. find the trade, so it is a two-on-two -two now. Bomb should be able to get its way planted. Rez being a menace towards this top side. It's fading. There's no time for this. And pivot around towards the back of the site. Plopsky does defend in time, and Chopper ascends up the ladder. Two on two, it is on like Donkey Kong, and Chopper might be hearing some of these little jumps around the site now. Pivots out, and Rez, he has been great. There we go, Chad, a five versus three, and one player overstepping the mark. I dare say that was the reason for it. Opens the floodgates, spreads the defense thin, and NIP looks like they've done it here. There's no kit available for Patsy, 10-5, looking more and more likely as the seconds go by, and you have to say that's a comeback of sorts. Sure, it's not the best scoreline for them, but it's a frustrating round to give away there. For Team Spirit, as we enter halftime, they've woken up. They've posted enough here to give themselves a fighting chance in the second half. Are they going to do it, though? That's the big question. You're going to have to join us after the break to find out. Future pros, today I wanted to show you another method to take outside and find picks on the T side of Nuke. This execute will obstruct a lot of vision from the CTs and possibly force a warehouse player out into the open for a fairly easy pick. For this execute, you will need four Future Pros along with three smokes, two mollies, and two HEs. Future Pro 1, you'll be throwing the bottom hell window smoke. To throw the smoke, hop into this corner. Aim at the top of this pipe vent and slightly to the right of the line. Run forward and jumping through the smoke as you get close to the wall in front. Save your molly as you can use this to block off secret as you spend more time outside. Future Pro number two, you only have a warehouse smoke to throw so don't mess it up. To throw the warehouse smoke, look into the center of this wall. Aim at the bracket on the silo. Then jump through the smoke. After this, head into lobby and hold off any pushes. Future Pro number three, you'll be throwing the A main smoke, mollying secret and saving a HE for CT red. To throw your smoke, position yourself so half of this vent is cut off by the wall. Aim to the top of the cables, run forward and throw the smoke just before hitting the box. Then clear some close angles and hop onto this box. From here, you can throw a molly to cover secret and hold the push. If you feel like it, throw your HE to CT red with Future Pro 4. Future Pro number four, you'll be throwing the CT red molly along with the HE. To throw your molly, wait for the warehouse smoke to bloom, then make your way into this gap. Aim at the lower corner of the garage door and jump throw the molly. This will land behind CT red and possibly cause a counter terrorist to rotate back towards the ladder area. After this, running throw your HE behind CT red as you could get some chip damage on the rotating player. Then have Future Pro 1 boost you behind T red and if you're quick enough, you should be able to catch any CT trying to get up from warehouse to ladder. And that's about it. This execute is a nice way to find a pick outside. If you have confidence in your aim, I have no doubt you should be able to catch CT player out.
welcome back to ESL Pro League Season 16. You join us in map number two between Team Spirit and Ninjas in Pajamas, the pick of the Ninjas, and it's 10-5 that they have to swallow after the first half. Doesn't necessarily go their way, but still a much better showing towards the end of the half, Chad. And uh, hopefully they can give us a bit of a show here in the pistol once more. They broke through, but we'll be keeping the stats coming. This is more from SEO here. He says they've hit double digits. NIP have now won 12 T-side rounds out of a possible 69 rounds during ESL Pro League Season 16. This is good for a 17.4% win rate on the T-side. Uh, we'll come back to comparisons with other teams after this special message. Well, here we go then. A fast assault from Siren and Co. towards outside, and it's going to be the first frag there for Hampus. He'll actually continue his good form. He's one of the players that really was fragging throughout. Advantage for NIP so far, but not for long. This is a very important situation, and only two, two bullets. bullets left. Oh, Doesn't matter. Chopper. Chopper's there. You can always rely on the captain. And uh, Rez, our old P2000, love to see it. It's a beautiful weapon. Uh, see, they lost track of all the players as well. So dotted one across the map. Chopper was already down towards lower. So you're thinking, things must be clear, but running straight in towards Rez and now Plopsky 2. This 2 on 2 is going to be dicey for Spirit. Oh, the aim on point. Chopper instantly with the goosh. Plopsky's put on notice immediately here, and he knows it wasn't the P2K. So should have a good idea that it is both players now good down point. here towards the lower side of the map, clearing things out with ease, well aware of both. And Magics and Chopper, they get it done. Call it 11. Good call on the pistol there, Chad. I guess that's something to consider as well in those sort of situations. If you do have the P2000 equipped, it's... Uh very obvious as to who you are. Um, well, there it is. Team Spirit looked like they had the control the most of that round, but uh, some good kills from Hampus towards lower and Rez getting the bomb in the two versus two. It's all down to that gush, though. As soon as Chopper hits that, uh, they're on the back foot trying to get together. Didn't work out, and Magic's with two bullets was saved by Chopper. Uh, what a great shot this was. Fantastic timing, couldn't be better. And once they knew one player was low, could just isolate them. And uh, we'll see whether the force will come in, and indeed it will. They've been deadly with the Deagles, these Swedes. Okay, well, they've trickled the smoke once they've already taken red control, which means the Patsy can instantaneously get across. But while we sit and wait for any action, I'll continue giving you these stat lines. Oh, so, do. as mentioned, it was 17.4% of T rounds for NIP uh, out of the possible... So, 12 out of the possible 69. Yeah. Just to compare this with other teams in Group A, Endpoint have 40.4%, Fnatic 44.1%, Na'Vi have 48.9%, Vitality 50%, and Spirit 50.6%, which is obviously going to be changing with the rounds in front of us right here right now but uh yeah so, so basically not trying to uh upset nip out there but that is one of the key points for their struggles so far within the group a rough goal on the t side i think it's side. a valid observation yeah well, numbers don't lie right famously you gotta add a bit of context to them and i think we've done that oh towards ram could be problematic though we have got hampers boosted up and uh he has got a dastardly deagle on him, Chad, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah, well, that's a cool tutorial to see Plopsky throw a smoke, but you're right. This is where all the action is. Hampus has to clears. get in his two. Oh, no clears. Uh, and no kills. No kills, uh, no, bro. you got to hit those. Yeah, that deagle. The first bullet close. The second, not too bad, but the kill not coming through. And now it should be saved the other four. And uh, have a little... He's on for two kills there. Felt Play good, didn't it? At least two. He yeah. took his time and got two taps. It's weird when they come around the corner not looking at you, then you have to consider the parving, then you're like, do I pull the trigger, do I wait? And then they clear him late, and oh. well, 12 to 5. He gets two, they, they probably win the round, that's a shame. But they can save the Deagles in armor, um, not the end of the world. Not the best scenario either, but... Uh, no, no one said that. <laughs> no one's saying that. <laughs> but uh, it's absolutely fine, they'll have to hold on to it. And good news for Team Spirit, they'll hold on to all five weapons as well, even after not clearing the round. I'm sure that's the last time that will happen. Although they've learned their lesson now. They've got away with it. A bit touch and go there for a second. Now, uh, it's all stand around magics to see if we can create some form of a buffer from the bomb. The or, human wall. Or, realistically, the fact that you can stay in the site and not go down to the bomb is something that needs to be adjusted. You well, guys the fact that Inferno would change it so you get blown up in T-Spawn now, whatever it is, like, you feel like you shouldn't be able to stay in the window room. Yeah, well, that's the thing. The Inferno change, I'm hoping that it slowly comes into more maps. Some are more difficult to balance than others. For example, Nuke being on top of one another makes it sure. a little bit more difficult. The Inferno one, I, I like that it stimulates players. You can't just save in pit anymore, so you, that means the well, CTs... Well, unless the if, bombs are at the very back, yeah. you're at the very back as well. So you have to think about your plan and be exactly. a bit more strategic. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I totally agree. And, and one of the keys that it, hopefully, right, it's hard to tell, but one of the things that you'd hope is it stimulates the late round more, because Inferno is one of those maps where once you lose the site, you just save. This gives the CTs, uh, like, an opportunity to go, hey, do we want to try and get some exits if the finances right. are close? 
Ooh. So uh, more options. That's what we like in Counter-Strike. As many options as you can come up with and more. The game is your oyster. However you want to throw your smoke, throw your util. Well, it seems Spirit have cracked this oyster open. And uh, looks like I get the delicious fruit inside because, uh, well, Rez will pull one back. He'll just be looking to save the egg. The bombs are down yet. Yeah, exactly. There's still a fighting chance. Maybe I spoke too soon. Hampus, as we said, a bit of a deagle god. Could go for the one-way smoke from outside heaven, perhaps. Is that what he's looking to do? Because the, the smoke that was thrown heaven by Spirit looked a little bit off. I don't know if it was intentionally off. Mm. Because right now, it feels like NIP are just going for exits, financial damage. Bomb's almost halfway gone here, and they're still holding the shift key. So Chopper comes around the corner. Plopsky brings a knife to a gunfight. And Rez with this Galil is hoping he can get another kill. He will. Certainly will. And oh, <laughs> hello, Ambus, what are you up to? There? He was trying something very tricky. Was Didn't he even on the catch diffuse? that? Yeah. Okay. He's keeping everyone on, on their toes. It, 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 definitely us, definitely the observers. Yeah, I didn't notice that at all. There we go. 13 to 5, though. Uh, opportunities and chances running quite thin on the NIP side. They will have a buy here, has to be said. Reds with the Galil uh, operates like an M4. Not quite as much damage, but uh, definitely serviceable on the CT side, I would say. Or press tag. Only six kills to his name. He was one of the players on Mirage. Actually looked like he was hitting most of his shots and actually very aggressive towards middle, if you recall, Chad. It feels like many moons ago now. A lot has happened since then, but the first 10 rounds of that CT side was looking glorious. Now, he's going to have a bit more of an instrumental role on this CT side with the AWP. So let's see if he can play that rotator position. Got to win this round, boys. Can't stress that enough. All right, we're very aware of any up close and personal aggression here. They were checking it diligently. Magix has found the gap. He's out through the door and he's down the vent. Quietly as well. They are not sure. I'm sure they're aware of the prospect of it, but they can't confirm either way. Well, we know when you can get towards lower, you can do a couple of tricks, right? When you open the door, maybe you you know, you know open the top side door at the same time if you haven't blown it off already, yeah. obviously. Or you break some windows so you can get out the window side. We know those tricks exist and I'm sure NIP do as well. But the late smoke wall, here's the drama. Vent rotation is completely covered. Hampus has to fight them. He has to go behind them here and get a couple of kills. The bomb, it's been stalled out for now. This fight is coming. The gap in the smoke is there. And wonderful yeah, was ready for that. The slight gap oh, in the smoke. Done. No, no, no. I'm it's calling never, the Uber now. Done. It's never I'm done. calling the Uber. It's never well, It's okay, over. Maybe it's done now. All right, let's get the, let's yeah, get the shoes he's, he's on. Yeah, Pack your bag. Is. Is. It's time to go. He's had enough. It's a 2 0. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we had two. Well, we haven't got them yet, but I can't believe we we were we were thought we have a six mapper today for yeah, sure. Yeah, felt like Endpoint, it. Now, I don't know why I'm saying that's a three. Well, we thought that would be two map zero. After one, we thought it was going to be exactly. a six map. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's totally fair. We thought it'd be two zero the other way to kick things off. But yeah. then it went, okay, it'll be a three map, but that's fine. We've got three maps afterwards. We've uh, accepted our fate. But uh, yeah, two quick two zeros would look at things there. S tag, Plopsky, we'll have to save the AWP. Oh, that was dear. a bit too easy for Team Spirit, right? They they got locked off by the, the incendiary, but if anything, that has bought them a couple of kills. Yeah, and like the, the logic in that situation from Team Spirit, Spirit is so simple. It's if we can get Magix down the vent, he can hold the rotation, we have enough smokes to go back and do a full smoke wall. We go down secret. The only point we have to focus on is clearing out the window side. We know they can't be decon because Magix is already down there, and vent rotation is not possible. So the, the idea of the strap was great, but that kill is fantastic. So aware of the gap that they leave, wonderful. That's heads up Counter-Strike right there. Thinking on his feet. So, DGL, what have you got for the boys here? Take another tactical timeout and discuss their options. But Chad, they are still yet to win a map in EPL. And I did, well, I think it's official. Once you go down 0-3, that's going to be it. You won't be going through. Yeah, I leave uh, those bold statements to the night shift I these days. Think, uh, is that a bold statement? Uh, I, leave I, think, the, I leave all the bold think, statements to the night shift. I think it's a reasonable statement at this point. If you, if you like, winning a map counts towards your total, right? At but, least in some, in the heads up at least. You don't want a map and you're zero three. 3 Surely it's over. Yeah, but Henry, these guys... So I, right. That's why I, I don't want to get okay. involved in any. I, 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 I leave it all to them. I've retracted it. I leave it all to them. And they've and, still got uh, a chance in the group, even if they go <laughs> zero three, guys. Don't and worry. Ray and Pitt. <laughs> they still got a chance, apparently. Well, right. Parler will give you guys the news after this. Okay, all right, Parler, let okay. him break, he's, he's break breaking it, it down to you. now. He's got the abacus out. Oh, that's a kill. That's a kill all day long. <laughs> And uh, so that's that. the game. Okay. Um, <laughs> Not another one. Not another one. Okay, lads, what are we doing? Well, it's over. They're, they're, they're out of it. Mentally, we can see they're just, they're not here today. They haven't been here in this group. Oh, well, they haven't been in this tournament. Yeah. The NIP were left in Sweden and uh, their bodies have manifested here in Malta. Yeah. 
Absolutely true, I'm afraid. s -tag. <laughs> it's not, it's like, guys, it's 1 minute 20 left and you're literally all dead. Have you done any damage, perhaps? No, no, no bullets have landed. So, okay. guys, I have an orb. So, one of the keys here with the role that I play, <laughs> let me just explain it, because we have 40 seconds now. Uh, so, chance. yeah, with, with this gun that you guys want me to play with, I need you to give me the information so I can reposition and use the best gun in the game to kill them. So, if you guys could stay alive for maybe longer than, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds, I might have a chance to do that. Here we have it again, the highlight what reel. What did Red's house to challenge that? Did, did he have he a rifle? I, yeah, I think he must have. It's a brave challenge, even against an AK. Well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're hunting him down as well. He'll get... Oh, not even one, perhaps. He oh. knows his days are numbered here. Nice shot. If he gets a couple, you'll be like, fair enough. There's a couple, but that's all he'll get. Fair enough. And fair enough. Yeah, that's, <laughs> all, that's all you can say at this stage, chat. Um, so... 10 rounds in a row to take us to overtime, and uh, I dare say there'll be a few more twists and turns in terms of some Deagle kills. Now you've really thrown caution to the wind at this stage. MP9's coming out, Deagles, M4s. You just do what you can, I suppose. If, that, if they just gave up in that previous round, Lord knows what they'll bring to the table here. Um, it's going to be a fun demo review tonight. This is kind of one of the ones you want to keep on the bedside table and maybe pretend that you're reading the book, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you really... <laughs> It's all it's all a bit of a ruse here. Well, it's been a fun game. It's spirit of being great. Spirit of being phenomenal. Considering I, they looked a little bit spotty against uh, Endpoint, like going overtime twice, true, but true. now in hindsight, like, well, maybe that's fair enough. Endpoint seems to be a pretty well, decent team. You know, they beat Navi. So exactly, Counter Strike so, Maths. Uh, exactly. Navi are by Hedra TV the number one team in the world. So I think that means Endpoint are now confirmed. number zero. Uh, they must be <laughs> number zero. <laughs> this is how Counter-Strike maths works, just like all the other maths out well, there. Well, it's amazing what uh, three days a difference will make because uh, NIP, like we said, we're on the dark horses. Like, oh, yeah, you obviously got Vitality and Na'Vi. Probably NIP, I'd imagine, going to be third. That's obvious. Uh, maybe Team Spirit can cause an upset. No one really knows after the player break. We haven't seen Team Spirit play in eight weeks. Um, not since Cologne, but here we go. Like I said, a few more twists and turns, potentially. And there it is. Uh, it's going to be decent damage towards Magics as well. And they're not done just yet, it seems. Mr. Wonderful, though. AWP. Good shot. He doesn't miss many of them. You give him an inch, he'll take a mile every single time. I have a very well-oiled team here. I know that they're still in a very unlikely situation to so, win right now, but even just the oh, pieces. Oh, NIP? Yeah, no, no, no. The well-oiled team being Team Spirit. I, I like say. the way they're approaching these rounds. Like the Chopper... Has, you, and you mentioned they hadn't played since Cologne. Right. That's so much time for them to have come out with all these new it's, approaches. It's, it's a great. good thing, right? Because NIP, they're coming off the back of last groups, right? Yeah. And uh, they, they're in Group A here, unfortunately. It's just uh, the luck of the draw, literally. And uh, they've had to come straight here to Malta. So oh, try it again. Throw it over the fence. Get rid of that. None for US attack. And they were nice shots by Brolin there, but it's very difficult to get excited about anything right now. This is the start of what the comeback will be. Oh, an after time with a nade, but don't worry about it. Magix has 9.6k. He absolutely does. And he did deny them the AWP, which is uh, very wise to do so. All they can do now is take each round as it comes. I think we've all been here before. We, you and I have casted a few of these chat in our time. Um, all we can really do is just analyze the rounds, and that's what NIP can do, is just try and hold on for dear life. They've got enough to keep buying now. Good shots for sure. If we get to the point where we reserve the mega excitement for uh, double digits. So four more rounds consecutively required for NIP before we think that this may be a possibility before those lovely words will be uttered. Brolin stands tall again, chiming in with Hampus from Warehouse. They're getting a bit of traction towards Yard now. Bit of a rush to finish this one of spirit so fast towards the yard again they've been denied the first two frags still down towards secret they will be able to make their way brolin with the re-rotation the ak ready to unleash here and just a tiny noggin spotted patsy he'll say goodbye as well and there we go this is going to be another round for nip absolutely is magics and siren remain but uh, like you said that fast approach trying to Force the issue down towards secret. No smokes deployed. It's trying to take the heads up battles. And uh, Ampus and Brolan mow them down once again. We'll see whether they can keep it clean, though. These two have been great. 18 for Magix, 18 for Siren. He did a great job, the uh, the latter, in anchoring that top site in the first half. I know where Magix is. That's no question. Siren, however, 
Still undetected. Very diligent on all these clears, and this one's always difficult. Steps out, sees Hampus, able to convert. That's a really frustrating type of peak to receive. You know you're done for once you spot that. Maybe another here for Sarni is sharp. Close. Popsky fends him off, waves him away, and says, thank you very much. We'll be taking number seven. So eight more now. Well, five seconds remain. Magix will do well to stay alive after time. It doesn't look like he's in any serious immediate danger. And there we go. Like Chad said, it gets about double digits when we'll start having that conversation about a comeback. Right now, just going through the motions. The pressure's off for an IP. Um, already accepted your fate, and you're just like, right, let's just, let's just play the rounds. We'll just do what we can. The one round of the time mentality needs to come into play here, right? Yeah. And, and then once they get into that territory we're talking about, and probably not until they're up to 14, do they believe they could even take this to overtime, right? It's just, we go in, we play the round. We go in, we play the round. The, the flow-on effects, the ramifications, you have to kind of wipe the slate clean, keep your mind fresh. Well, it is ESL Pro League, and if any sort of strange or spooky scenarios would ever go down. This would be the league for it, and uh, stranger things have happened. We've seen crazier comebacks than this, and it's the CT side of Nuke. If ever you've got to choose a side and a map to do so, this would probably be it, Chad. Would yeah. everyone be saying that? But you'd like Brolin to be alive. Uh, so yeah, as that... I was saying, though, he did decide to go down, <laughs> which is an issue. He did get pipped at the post by I'm Chopper here. I'm trying to build here. it up. I don't know why. Well, but you can um... see how forward he was, right? So a lot of teams, they wanted to make sure, I assume, that because uh, we didn't actually catch it, that they, they didn't want to allow a player to go down the uh -oh. vent, right? Yeah, and now I'm just going to walk into it. Because Magic's got down the vent before for free. Yeah. You want to avoid that happening again. Brolin thought he would get ahead of that Ooh, play and step. just got owned. So I think Patsy's about to get a kill here. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. And uh, I think we'll pack it up, shall we? Popsky and Rez. Not quite. They're both here. They've got AK-47s. Sure, they need two kills each, yeah, but it, it's possible. Oh! There it is. Here it comes. One-on-one, -on -one, I told you. 45 seconds remain, and uh, yeah, it's those AKs. A ton of damage being uh, put out there. Popsky's still, Popsky he's in the still hanging around. Ooh. Magic so, needs to be I like quiet. this fact he's gone towards heaven. If he just peers into the site, Magic should win this. Just a glance, that's all he needs. A look, a scope, a kill, that's it. 16 to seven, a golf clap around the globe right now as Spirit take care of business. They're not celebrating like it was a crazy victory. It was another day at the office. What a fantastic performance from these individuals yet again. And yes, unfortunately can't say the same for NIP. They continue their lost streak here, unable to pick up a map once again. They go 0-3 in the group. Disheartening, but uh, definitely not the end of the world. They'll be back. And uh, we'll be back with the desk very shortly after this break.